With the rise of Dream, Minecraft speedrunning has become quite the popular activity, as creators try to replicate the YouTube success. I, for one, would never stoop so low to do something like that. But maybe you would. So, here's how to speedrun Minecraft. Being such an expansive game means that there's hundreds of ways to beat the dragon. However, if you're not doing what Dream did in his last stream, you're probably wrong. Your setup is most important. Make sure your mouse has a DPI of at least 8000 so you always get the right item in your inventory. Of course, your monitor should be overclocked, and you should have bought the GTX 380 from a scalper on eBay, so you can get that sweet 400 FPS. You also got the graphics card so you can stream to 5 people on Twitch, two of which have fallen asleep, and one of them is you. After starting your world, finding a village is key. Just like the colonists, you'll want to take everything worth value and leave the village with no regard for its survival. The goal is to do as little work as possible and get all your equipment from 3 to 4 naturally spawning chests. Make sure to place blocks while you run. You won't go faster, but you will look cooler. Given that food can bring a dying man back to life, you'll definitely want to get some. Cooking food in a furnace will take too much time, so to improve your run, burn the life out of that pig and 360 no scope it as the final blow. Nice. Typically, Minecraft progressions to slowly build your resources, to find diamonds, and mine obsidian to make it to the nether. But, this can all be done with the bucket making the only defense that poor village had. The nether plays a key role in getting to the end. You'll have to collect blaze rods from a fortress and trade ender pearls with the pig waifu. After completing your task in the nether, you'll want to head to the stronghold with as many beds as you can carry. You know Minecraft is a realistic game when you can carry 16 beds to an alternate dimension to kill a purple dragon. Endermen will be just as present as Karens are in a Facebook group chat, and while typically passive, if you look at them, they will mess with you. <laughs> I was talking about the Karens, but I guess you can also apply that to the Endermen. Of course, a rogue Enderman will slow you down, but just be grateful you don't have three man hunters trying to kill you as well. Hopefully you performed at your best and defeated the dragon in good time. Of course, your time will depend greatly on your seed, so now repeat that a hundred times and hope for good luck. Be ready for a nether that has no fortress anywhere within 10,000 blocks, an ender portal with no eyes, and you only have 11 because your 12th shattered. Expect to spawn in the middle of nowhere, and expect that the dragon may never come back down as you slowly watch your chance at a gold record slip away. A truly good speedrunner is able to adapt and respond to the yeah. given world, but that takes time and effort, not to mention the hundreds of resets needed to get top 100 on a meaningless scoreboard. So, you should probably just go back to YouTube and watch Dream. Bitter, because that's not you.